All right, tech fans, brace yourselves, because we've got a bombshell about the Galaxy S 25 Ultra, and let's just say it's not all sunshine and roses. The Galaxy S 25 Ultra is about to be packed with some incredible upgrades, but there's one area that Samsung might be leaving behind. So here's the thing. The Galaxy S 25 Ultra is gearing up to be an absolute powerhouse. We're talking about an overhaul design, lightning fast performance with the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip and AI capabilities like never before. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you found this video informative and, and leave a comment below. We love hearing from you. I'm introducing the Kuxu X 40Q, your all-in-one wireless charging and stand solution charge your iPhone, Apple Watch, and AirPods, or any phone support MagSafe simultaneously with 15 watt and key to fast charging technology, compact, foldable, and travel ready. Power up anywhere, anytime. Cooks you. Charging made easy. Get yours today and save 10% using our coupon code at cooksyou.co. Let's back to our video. But in classic Samsung plot twist fashion, there's a catch. See, the Galaxy S25 Ultra won't come cheap for Samsung. With its pricey generative AI tech, enhanced memory, and cutting edge chips, costs are skyrocketing, so much so that Samsung has had to make some compromises. And where are they cutting corners? The display. Yep, instead of using the top notch M14 materials you'll find in the latest iPhone 16 Pro displays, Samsung's opting for the previous gen M13 materials for the S25 Ultra. Now, what's the big deal between M13 and M14, you ask? Well, according to display expert Ross Young, the M14 is a beast. It's 20 to 30 percent more efficient, brighter, and lasts longer than M13. Imagine a phone that's easier on battery life and clearer in direct sunlight. That's what the M14 tech offers, and sadly, what the Galaxy S25 Ultra might miss out on. But wait, just when we thought we had it all figured out, Tech Leaker Universe Ice claimed that the S25 Ultra would use M14 materials, promising a brighter, more vibrant display. Who's right? It's a game of tech telephone, and we're all just here for the show. Here's the thing. Samsung's spending big on what matters most to users, AI advancements, a super powerful Snapdragon chip, and larger memory. And let's not forget, even with M13, the Galaxy S25 Ultra will still be an upgrade over the S24 Ultra display. So unless you're really chasing that extra 20% brightness, it's likely that the S25 Ultra will still impress. So what do you think? Should Samsung have splurged on M14 materials? Or did they make the right call by focusing on other features? Let us know in the comments below. And hey, if you want the latest Galaxy S25 Ultra news and leaks as they drop, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Trust us, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Subscribe for the latest on Galaxy S25 Ultra and more tech insights. Catch you in the next video, tech fans. Stay tuned. Stay hyped. Peace.